the champagne poppy coming up. Torture talk, talk. Alright. So today we'll be reviewing the new Drake. The new Drake. Dark Lanes demo tapes. Alright. Champagne Poppy. You know what it is. We all know where he's from. We all know. There's no need to, you know. We all know who he is. He's the most, probably the biggest artist, rap artist in the world, or one of them. You know, many accolades, many awards, many singles. What can you really say about Drake? So let's get into this album. All right, so Drake. Drake drops a, a album, I guess he's calling it a demo, tapes, or whatever. I don't know what, what it is exactly. One thing I want to say is, uh, before I really get into it, um, as far as uh, the details and everything, but where's where where are we going with this, Drake? What is what is your direction? Because to me, it seems like you're just out and about, just dropping songs here and there, doing whatever. But there's no point to your music anymore. I mean. I guess for each song we could say that you know you have a point of reference but your albums are all over the place there's no direction anymore and it's like where where are we going what are we doing with this you know like I don't know if you're bored with music I don't know if you just ran out of ideas like what are we doing here that's the question I have for Drake if he ever sees this um if you're just having fun, just let us know, you know. But us fans out here are wondering, curious fans are wondering, not not the uh, sheep fans. The curious fans are wondering, like, what is your direction? But with that being said, this album to me was another one of these regurgitated, redundant albums that I'm just going to th throw some stuff out that I maybe made two years ago or a year ago. And just to see... You know, just to get some streams or some clicks or some likes or whatever. Who knows? There's really not too many people putting out any music. It's the warm-up tape, you can say. I don't know. But I'm going to judge this album as if it's his album. I'm not judging it off of, oh, it's, it, and I'm not giving no excuses. You put out an album or, or a, a CD that is... 14 songs almost an hour long I'm not gonna judge this off of just because you say it's a mixtape no this is your material so we're gonna judge it you know and I'm sure that it's not what he's saying but that's what I'm saying so give or take this album to me again was something that I think was a regurgitated thing. It wasn't something that I think he put his best foot forward. I heard better from him. Most of these songs are forgettable tracks. Really, honestly, there's only one song that stands out, and it sounds like Mob Ties to me, and that's uh, War. All the rest of the songs, it's like I heard it all before. And it's like, okay, yeah, we're going to keep complaining. We're going to keep doing this. We're going to keep trying to balance the, the rap between the R&B. We're going to keep doing this. Or are we going to do something that's a little more edgy? You know what I'm saying? And I'm guessing people are saying, but he's at this point where he doesn't have to do that. Yeah, and he's at this point where he doesn't have to release an album like this either. I just say the same thing back to you. So it's like, when are we going to get something that is remarkable from you like when are we gonna when are we gonna stop making these excuses for him you know as if like he's in this this certain lane where he can 
drop anything and it's okay because that's what he does there's 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 a thing where you can drop some trash or something bad being a legend or being good i mean you're not exempt to that but this doesn't sound like it's trash or bad it just sounds like he just not putting his best foot forward it just sounds like he just gave up it's like i don't really feel like doing this i'm just doing it because i can do it and people like me but it doesn't sound like something that I would say that he would be like, yo, like I would be like, yeah. I mean, I agree. At this point, I just don't think that we are going to get a full length rap album from Drake. I'll be surprised if we do. Like, I'll be totally surprised if we get a full length album, a rap album from Drake. But right now, I just don't see it happening. I actually believe that Drake has ran out of ideas because when you start getting to the point where most of your songs sound like all your other songs from the past four, three, four albums, then to me you're starting to run out of ideas. Either you need to take a break or you need to get someone else to come in and not to say to write your material because I don't. I'm not going on that bandwagon. I'm saying I think that he needs to have someone come in and maybe give him some fresh ideas. You know, maybe get into something a little different because this right here is just not it. You know, I mean, I get it. You can fool everybody, but you can't fool me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you can fool some of the people, but you can't fool all of the people. And I think that with this album, it's one of those repackaged, put out, see where it goes. Oh, I'm that I'm I'm that dude. People like it. We've seen the same thing. This happened. The same thing happened with a lot of artists. They get to that point in their career where they like, I can just do anything. People gonna like it. And there's a lot of people that will actually like it. But this is nothing that significantly stands out. This album doesn't stand out. This is all the music I heard this year. This is probably one of top five not best ones <laughs> so but sonically this album again sounds like the last project he put out this the the mixing on this album was so so i think some of the tracks sound pretty mixed and other tracks sound like they were just you know him rapping over him and they just eq'd his vocals pretty good of course, Drake is a top-notch rapper, so he, he's on top of his game when it comes to lyrics. So, um, some of the songs to me was forgettable. You know, they, he had a, I guess he has a lot of hidden messages in his songs for people he know. You know, um, just like this song, War, he says a couple of things about a couple of people in there, and he says something about The weekend, but people probably ain't going to catch it. Um, or how he's not beefing him no more and all this stuff. I get it, you know. But at the same time, the album as a whole to me was something I think that just gonna go in his in his archives, but it ain't gonna be something that people are gonna say, Oh yeah, I, I remember that. That joint was crazy. Like, no, it's not a take care or if you're reading this it's too late or you know, nothing was the same. No, it's not that. You know what I'm saying? And once you get back to that, then we can talk. So again, I gave this album a strong six. Um, I think it's going to maybe grow on me a little bit. I mean, I listened to it a couple of times. I actually listened to it about four or five times. So it might push up to a seven, but right now it's a strong six. Um, I just think that Drake has the chance right now to prove everybody wrong. And I think that he's falling back into that same cycle of uh, the redundantness and the lazy, the laziness of being a, a celebrity or an artist. I think he needs to get out of that and get back to the music, lock in, get off Instagram, stop stop talking to people, just lock in and do an album and come out. Now, who knows? His next album might be fire. We don't know. But uh, judging off of this, if it sounds anything like this, he's going in the wrong direction. So, Torture Talk, like, share, subscribe. Tell your family about me. You know what it is. Champagne Poppy Review. What can I really say, man? I was disappointed. <laughs>